All right, we're going to do some timing diagrams with Excel here. And I'm going to use the left hand column. Use the left hand column for all of our signal names. So I'll put down here start. And I'm going to I'm going to skip a line for every signal name. Stop. And I'll put uh, sys run. Put motor 1. Motor 2. So you know what? I want to put something else in between there. So I'll move these down. And uh, timer 2 on. Okay. And those will be all my my controls and my signals that I'm working with. Okay. Now if you look up, if you look up really close, you can see up there in the little border box here. You see the border box? If I click on that arrow, it's going to pop open and it's showing you all the different types of borders you can draw. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select draw border. Okay? All right. And before you do that, you can set your color, you can set your style. Okay, we're going to use a standard solid line, the color, use automatic color there, and we're just going to draw the border. Okay, but before I do that, I'm going to do another thing here. Come back out first. I want to select all my columns. Okay, I'm going to select, come across here and select a whole bunch of columns. Okay and then you can right click on the column okay and select column width okay column width and it looks like that's set for about 8.43 well I'm gonna try 3 and you can see with 3 it's almost a nice square but not quite so I'm again right click up on the top Come down with column width, 2.5. Let's try that. There you go. Now we've got nice little square cells, right? Okay, I'm going to back out. And you can see you got a lot there for your timing diagram. So let's zoom in, in here on the start. Okay, again, I'm going to go up to the border, select draw the border. Okay, come down here, select draw border. Now see it turns into a pen. Now my start button will start out high. So I'm going to come along here and I'm just going to draw. And you can see there's my, my pushing of my start button, right? I'm going to continue along, along and we'll just draw that for a while. Okay? Now we looked at the line ladder diagram earlier and when I push my start button my sys run coil will energize. So I'll come across here and at that same point my sys run coil energizes. And I'm going to come along here we're going to keep going for a while there. Okay? Now we also know that the stop button is not pressed and I just realized that I have my start and my stop turned around here okay nobody said anything about that but we'll go back up here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up erase the border okay erase the border and I'm gonna come back along here and just erase the whole thing gone now do it right okay draw the border again again my start is normally open okay comes along here energize it while I'm pushing it okay 
There we go. If you put something in that you don't mean like that, hit a keyboard control Z, undo it, and start back off again. Okay? Now I'm going to move over here, finish filling that out. Okay. Now I'm come back to the stop. Now the stop is normally closed, right? So it'll come along and it'll stay closed until I decide to stop it. We'll come back to it later on. But you can see I'm drawing things there. Now, motor one was going to start after a 15. how many second delay? 15. Well, let's say a five second delay, okay? So motor one is off, okay? Then one, two, three, four, five seconds later, it'll turn on, okay? Motor two starts at the same time as motor one, right? So we come along there, and both of those are on. Okay, I'm just drawing everything there. Now, timer two on is an off delay. And in our line ladder, it was turned on by motor one. Okay, so when motor one energizes, the timer, the off delay energizes. So it will, since it's an off delay, it will also turn on at the same time as motor one. Okay. Now the next thing that will happen is we'll hit our stop button. Okay? So I'm going to hit the stop button. Okay. There we go. There's that. The start button stays high. We'll bring that out there. Now I have to change this right here. So I'm going to go back up to borders and we'll select the erase the border. And I'm going to take out the last little bit of it there. Go back and grab my pencil again. And when I hit my stop, my sysrun sys run stops also. Okay? Now if I look back down here at motor 1. Motor 1 will stop at the same time as sysrun. Okay? Draw that out. Turn it off. Okay. But since the off delay timer is energized by motor one, it keeps going, doesn't it? One, two, three, four. We'll give a four second off delay and then it turns off. Okay. And motor two will follow timer two. Okay? Now, this period right up here, this period right up here is your on delay period. So what I like to do is I'll come up here, come right up here to the fill, the fill color, okay? And we're not gonna, well, we're not gonna do that, okay? Let me hit escape. All right, I'm going to select this area right here, down there. Okay, select that area after the off delay timer. And I'm going to come up to my fill colors. All right, and I'll select yellow for on delay. Okay, same thing over here, down below that, I'll select. motor one and motor two okay there's my off delay I'm sorry my on delay time there okay now I come over to the end of it where we have our off delay I want to highlight this area in here I'm going to select the color I'll select the orange And those are my off delays. Okay?
Now the other thing if you want, you can draw the transit, you can draw where all of this starts. So let's come up here to the line. Again to the line type. Go down here to the line type. Line style. Let's use the the dots. Okay. And we're going to change the color. Well, go back over there to the line, line color. I'm going to change it to red. Okay. And I can come up here and I can draw my little there's my transition. It's really hard to see on the screen here but what I'm going to do is zoom in okay and zoom in there and you can see the little dashes there indicating my transition point I'm going to come back over here at the same place I'm going to draw some transitions in here be careful when you're drawing this not to draw over your existing transition if you do it'll disappear like that so you don't want to overdraw your transitions okay now you can use it as this you can come back down here on the bottom you can come down on the bottom and go across here and put time seconds minutes or whatever so that each each one of your uh, blocks is representative of a time. Okay.